Everyone, we got good news. We got good news. They finally done it. Apple Music, Apple TV, Apple devices, all three new preview apps on Windows 11. So today, we are going to try them out for ourselves. But wait, you need Windows 11 22H2 to install these apps. I don't yet have a device that can do that. So we got two options, either install Windows 11 on UTM or on a Surface with Windows to go. Eh, I choose UTM. Okay, let's go. So here's a time lapse of me installing Windows 11 in UTM. I've already made a video on UTM. Um, the link is in the description. Go check that out. Anyways, keep on watching the time lapse. Okay, so looks like we've done all necessary setup. Okay, logging in. Yeah, this looks kind of good, so let's pin this to the taskbar. Okay, open up Microsoft Store. And actually, right over here we see iTunes, but we won't be needing that. Um, okay, so I search up Apple Music Preview. It's right there. Okay, there's also Cider, which I think is like an Apple Music alternative before this preview came out. And I think this, can this be installed on Windows 10? I think it can. Oh, oh wait, it's two dollars. It's two dollars. Oh, okay. So not from the uh, App Store, the Microsoft Store, that is. No way. No way this product isn't compatible with my PC's processor. Bro. Bro, wait. Bro, it's only compatible on X64? No. No. Come on. Alright, I guess we have to do Windows to go then. Okay, so we're in the Microsoft Store on this Surface Pro 1. Apple Music Preview. I already tried searching for it, and it's not there. Okay, so, I don't know, let's hop onto Edge. Okay, previews of the Apple Music. Come on. Load. Come on. Move. Move. What are you doing? Okay, Apple Music Preview. Get in store app. Uh, okay, so looks like we can get it. So I'll install the other two. Okay, so we got our three apps, Apple Devices, Apple Music, Apple TV. So let's first open up Apple Music. Okay. This is a preview version of the Apple Music app and not all features may work as expected. Once installed, iTunes will no longer open. Oh, okay. Okay. Fine, we'll continue. Um, these are just the license terms. Yo, should I- should I read this next? Okay, no. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, agree. And the app opens up. Oh, this is like, this is like just how it is on Mac OS. It gives this little pop-up. Then you click start listening. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, this is Mac OS all right. Okay, I will, I will, <laughs> battery saver is on. Wow, okay. I will sign in real quick. Okay, so I've signed in. Yep, shows my name right there. Updating cloud music library. I, I know I have songs in my library. I have lots of them. Okay, so we first go to the Listen Now page, and everything kind of looks exactly how it should look. Not, not kind of, like, 
very much exactly how it should look. Recently added. Yep, yep, these are all my recently added songs. Wow. This is, this is actually a really good app as of now. Really nice design. Um, okay, we'll go to songs. Songs, yeah, yeah, we have everything. Default setting is um, sorted by artist, exactly how it should be. Playlists, we have all of our playlists, including the TechEOS collection of vibrations that we interpret as music. Why, why am I not seeing any album art as of yet? Okay, whatever. Okay, okay, there, there's, there's the album art. Yep, all of these. All of them. Okay, so we'll go to artists. AJR, of course. Um, we'll scroll to OK Orchestra. These are our drops. Okay, so as far as I can tell, it's playing music. I can see playing next, history. So the, so the only thing that you don't get on the Windows version of Apple Music is that you can't see the lyrics of a song, which is kind of weird since you can already see lyrics on the web and on a Mac and on every other Apple device. So I don't get why you can't see it in Apple Music on Windows. It's kind of weird. So this this is actually... A really good app, and I I do like this. You have authorized machine, deauthorized machine. Um, you can go to your settings. Yep, this is how I imagine Windows 11 should be everywhere. Like Apple's font, um, all of Apple's services, except some of these Windows 11 um, design elements do look pretty cool, and I do prefer them over Mac OS. So, yeah, there's not much, there's not much to see here. Oh! Oh, it says high-res lossless. Okay, so you can't play in Dolby Atmos. Okay, so you can crossfade songs on Windows, just like you can on Mac. Still don't get why you can't do that on iOS and iPadOS. Sound Enhancer, you can also do that on macOS. Okay, so you get lossless audio, high-quality, lossless, and high-res lossless. Again, just like on macOS, common theme here. Pretty much everything except for lack of Dolby Atmos and no lyrics is completely normal. Yeah, so that's the Apple Music app. Okay, let us move to the Apple TV app. Okay, it loads. Preview version, continue. Agree to the license terms. Again, everything looks just how it should. We get all our categories in the sidebar, including Apple TV+. Plus. We've got some things over here. Settings. Um, yep, this is how it should be. And if we go into Apple TV+, Plus and play a show... Uh, again, we got the Apple design language, the Apple video player design language and oh oh the window adapts to what type of content you're playing that's cool okay so i don't think this content is playing because i'm recording right now and yeah common theme it's just that everything looks completely normal and that apple did an amazing job in porting the Apple Music and Apple TV apps over to Windows. This is this is actually really really good. I just I just wish they'd done this when I still had Windows. Okay, so that's the Apple TV app. Now what I'm most excited for is the Apple Devices app. Okay, same sort of thing. Agree. Welcome to Apple Devices. The Apple Devices app lets you manage your Apple devices from your Windows PC. Okay, cool. 
so I don't have any devices currently plugged in, but let me go and get my iPad. Okay, plugging in my iPad in three, two, one, plugged in, started charging, allow. Okay, Apple iPad shows up, and why am I not seeing anything? Oh, we've lost network for some reason. Oh, okay, so, so we do see my iPad. Okay, I will trust this computer. Okay, so we click. We see all the information of it once it loads up. Yep, again, this is exactly how it looks on Windows. You can see movies, music, TV shows, photos. So, so one thing that I want to see is if I do shift and check for update, it'll pull up the file explorer to restore from an IPSW. Yep, you can backup now, manage backups, restore backups. Can you, can you archive backups though? That's my question. What, why can't I click on it? That's not how it should be. Settings, so there are no settings. It's just a really simple app. And I see very little issue with these. This is pretty much exactly how it should be. So, yeah, if we click sync, and nothing happens. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with this app in particular. Uh, okay, yeah, so the Apple Devices app, this is the only one that I'm having a problem with so far. But you can't really blame them. It is a preview app and I am sure that they will fix it by the time that it comes out. Because this, this does not work, like, at all. Huh. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and me exploring the three new Apple preview apps on Windows 11. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and also comment down below what you thought of this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.